Hi everyone, this is my son Reed. This is my son Paley. It's their bedtime now. I have five sons. Two of them have a rare genetic disease called myotubular myopathy. It makes their muscles extremely weak, so weak that they need machines to help them breathe and eat. There are only a few hundred cases of this in the world, mainly because kids who are born with it usually don't last long. When Reed was diagnosed, the doctors told us that he had a 50% chance of seeing his first birthday and a 30% chance of seeing his second birthday. And this was in New York with modern medical facilities. Most areas of the world can't deal with cases like this. Reed is going to turn 12 in November. Paley just turned nine. They beat the survival odds but it's been a rough road for them. Reed died once in a hospital when he was a baby because a nurse wasn't taking very good care of him. He was dead for around four minutes. Doctors revived him. Paley died twice at home. Both times my wife did CPR and both times he came back, but they lose something when their hearts stop for a few minutes. We left New York City last year mainly because of Reed and Paley. In New York, we lived in a small third floor apartment, so we couldn't get them automatic wheelchairs that they could control for themselves. Automatic wheelchairs weigh a few hundred pounds, so there was no way to get them upstairs and downstairs. We finally moved last year so that Reed and Paley could be on the first floor. Uh, I built a wheelchair ramp. We recently got Reed his new wheelchair, we were still waiting on Paley's wheelchair when he died the second time. He's connected to an alarm that goes off if his heart rate or oxygen level drop. The night nurse turned the alarm all the way down so that it wouldn't annoy her. The next day, Marie was in the kitchen and couldn't hear the alarm after Paley accidentally pulled out his trach tube that he breathes through. She revived him, but he's not the same so far. Uh, even though he's always had weak muscles, he could still use his muscles. He would sit around and draw pictures or play games on his iPad. Uh, he also had some weird savant abilities. Paley would read a book and then type the book out from memory. He would type out all of the countries in the world in alphabetical order. Weird stuff like that. But after this last episode, a few weeks ago, he hasn't been moving. Doctors think that this may be temporary, so we'll have to wait and see. It sucks when your son is just about ready to be able to move around for himself, and suddenly he can't move at all. So he can't use the controller on the wheelchair. Here's the craziest part, though. This disease is curable. Researchers already cured it in mice, then they cured it in dogs. Last year, they started human trials on babies who are born with myotubular myopathy. Those kids now seem totally healthy, but it apparently takes years for treatments to go through the FDA, so we may still be a few years away from the treatment becoming available to everyone. There's a conference every two years where the doctors and the researchers meet with the kids and the families. Back in 2013, my wife went to the conference by herself, there was no way we could afford to take the kids and a nurse halfway across the country. Then in 2015, I said, I bet this is something that people would chip in to help us cover. So I put up a link on my website where people could chip in and people covered the entire trip. I rented a 32 foot RV. We brought all the kids and a nurse with us to the conference. The same thing happened in 2017. I posted a link on Facebook where people could chip in, and once again, the entire trip was covered. It's 2019, and the conference this year is in St. Louis. We have an extra son this time. Kepler is a year old, so our plan is to get an RV, load up all five kids, a nurse, and Marie's parents. Marie's one of the organizers of the conference, so she's usually busy the entire time. I'm usually recording the presentations of the researchers because lots of families can't be there, but we couldn't head out there with all the kids without a nurse and some family support. Anyway, we can't really afford huge trips like this, 
each of the past two conferences ended up costing somewhere in the $6,000 to $8,000 range. That's RV rental, hotel rooms, food, and so on. I'm once again putting up a link for anyone who wants to chip in. The link is in the description box. I'm praying that this is the last time I'll need help covering the trip because it would be absolutely awesome to see the cure available in the near future. But we'll see what happens. By the way, if you're in St. Louis, I won't have much free time, but if you want to swing by and say hi, let me know and bring me some coffee.